Well, hello there, Scouters Mountain students and family members and our extended community, especially our friends at Happy Valley Elementary and Mount Scott Elementary. Welcome into another week. Can you believe that it's week number five of hybrid learning and our new distance learning classrooms that combine classrooms, combine students from Scouters and Happy Valley and Mount Scott. We're glad to have you all here. Glad you're participating in the morning messages. Always great to see you. Welcome to Monday. It is April 26th. 2021 a brand new week the sun is shining outside after chilly recesses this morning at our school hopefully you are warming up and enjoying some fresh air what is going on today well let me tell you it is week number five as i just said of the hybrid model and your new cdl classrooms if you're involved in a new classroom you may have students from happy valley or mount scott or scouters mountain some combination of those in your classroom we are glad you're a part somehow of our school i'm glad you've chosen to tune into the morning messages if you're in hybrid at scouters mountain we'll be having a fire drill this week in cohort a and cohort b yep can't get out of that still have those emergency drills fire drill this week cohort a's will be on tuesday cohort b's will be on thursday not going to give you all the details but you will have it on those days if that's something that makes you a little nervous make sure you let your teacher know let mr long know and we'll make sure that we work through that. The fire alarm is loud at our school, and that's on purpose to make sure we can get out during any kind of emergencies, but we'll practice our basic procedures. It's the first time we've done that in person at our school, so that's coming up this week. Supply pickups as well. For those of you that are not in hybrid learning, so you are not going to school in person, you're still at home learning, we'll have supply pickups. Now, not every classroom has something, well, specifically supplies. All of you have, a little health workbook that you should be picking up. I sent home some details to the Scouters Mountain families about that. If you go to Mount Scott or you go to Happy Valley Elementary, you will go to those schools to pick up your supplies. And third graders from Scouters Mountain, you're going to Happy Valley as well. It's not that far. You'll go over there to pick up your supplies. For most of you, that's just a great body shop health workbook. But some of you, like our kindergartners, I know for sure have some extra things as well. So make sure you show up for supply pickups. When are those? Well, if you're coming to Scouters, they're from 9 to 11 in the morning and then from 2 to 5 in the afternoon. That's for all Scouters kids except for third graders. You go to nearby Happy Valley Elementary School, but everyone else is coming here on Wednesday, 9 to 11 or 2 to 5. Don't forget about PE, music, counselor, Google Classrooms, plus the health website. I've been telling you that for weeks now. Make sure you log into your PE and music. To make sure you're getting credit for that when report cards roll around. I don't want anyone to get a grade they weren't expecting because they didn't participate in PE and music. And you kind of have to do that on your own. You have to be disciplined enough to go to those classrooms during your asynchronous time or during your applied learning time to check out those. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. You can always reach me right here at this email address. There it is right there, longc at nclac.k12.or.us. And some of you or to see you emailing me about fun stuff that's going on, fun pictures that you may have taken. I love those. I'll respond to them as well. It doesn't have to be school related. If you just want to check in, see how things are going at school, make sure you do that. There's the email address to send that to. Who is celebrating a birthday this week? A unique week at Scouters Mountain in that there's not very many. Check this out. Just two. Nixon Metcalf. Happy birthday to him. That's coming up later this week. He's at kindergarten at Happy Valley Elementary, but is joining us for his distance learning. Welcome, Nixon, and happy birthday to you later this week. And also, Bea Brown will be later this week as well. Happy birthday, Bea. And that is it. Just two birthdays, kindergarten and first grade this entire week. Sometimes we have to go two screens, just two students this time. So happy birthday to Nixon and to Bea. It is Monday, which means we do our Pledge of Allegiance every Monday here on The Morning Messages. If you would like to follow along with me at home, please do. You can use this as your flag. If you'd rather not, you can fast forward through this video and get to the part right afterwards. But let me get situated. Situate my camera right there so you can see me. Hand over your heart and ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thanks of you that followed along with me. Let, the, let me get that camera set up again. Hopefully that's centered, and we'll move right along. What is our last daily challenge that I gave you over the weekend? Well, remember that National Sense of Smell Day was over the weekend. So I asked, what is your favorite smell or your least favorite smell? Send Mr. Long a photo, a slide, or a video of you celebrating Sense of Smell Day. We got some good ones that came in. Check these out. 
This is from Sari in fifth grade. There are her favorite scents. So an ocean breeze. Yeah, that's a good one. Vanilla. I like vanilla. Lavender chamomile. Cinnamon buns, donuts, and morning breeze. All right. So Sari would like to have a morning ocean breeze, having cinnamon, maybe a vanilla latte for breakfast, and a donut and lavender and chamomile on the table. That would be a perfect breakfast for her. So great job, Sari, sending in all of your favorite scents for National Scent Day. Also, we have this. This is from Kate J in fifth grade, Mrs. Webkey's distance learning class. Her favorite smell is petunias in hanging baskets. Yeah, you see a lot of those in the springtime, some petunias in hanging baskets. That's a great one, great job. And then we have Nikhil who says, cake smell, good, yay. Well, he went caveman talk on us. He's got a little bunk cake in front of him. So he likes the smell of cake. He says it's good and yay. Not much uh, to say there for Nikhil, but very funny slide. Thanks for sending that in. So what is your new daily challenge? This will be due on Wednesday for those of you that are participating. And I love getting all of these. Did you know that today, Monday the 26th, is National Pretzel Day? Well, lots of people have pretzels or other snacks. Send Mr. Long a photo, a slide, or a video of you eating your favorite type of snack food, or you could be preparing your favorite type of snack. Videos are my favorite if you can send those in, but definitely send a photo or a slide of you eating your favorite snack. Maybe it's just a picture of your favorite snack, or maybe you're creating your favorite snack in honor of National Pretzel Day, which is today. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Remember where to send them right there, long C at nclack.k12.or. US. Let's get to our contest that we've been doing for quite a while now. What in the world is that? Close up. Here's the last one we had. Now, I think this one was pretty easy, and most of you got this one. What is that a picture of? Zoomed way far in. We had lots of guesses here. This is from Anna in fifth grade. She says, maybe a sunflower. Hmm, we could be onto something there, Anna. We'll have to wait and see. This is from Sari, I believe. What is that? She says it's a sunflower. Uh, very good. Let's see. We'll have to see. This is from Kate J. What is that? That's a sunflower, she says. Yeah, not many wrong answers on this one. And here is Nikhil. I think pick of is a sunflower because yes. Well, good grammar there, Nikhil. Let's see that one more time. Let's check on his grammar. I think pick is of sunflower because yes. So Nikhil going with caveman slides this time, but I think he was correct. He was correct. What in the world was that? It was indeed a sunflower. I thought that was a pretty easy one. Probably the easiest one we've had so far in the morning messages, but not like this one after we show you who solved that. We saw Kate's, we saw Nikhil's, we saw Anna's, and we saw Sari. Notice that all fifth graders, hey, kindergartners, first, second, third, fourth graders, where are you? Let's send some of those in. If you know what the mystery picture is, or even if you don't, wrong answers are fun too. Let's see what the next one is. I don't think this one will be as easy. What in the world is that close up? Can you tell what that is? Hmm. If you have any guesses, wrong or right, make sure you send them right here. Long C at inclac.k12.or.us. Can't wait to hear. Before we move on, we always have some catch up photos or videos if you missed the deadline before, or just want to share some things that are going on, check out what came into us here. Check that out. There's Timmy on the left who's showing off his Mountain Dew Award that he got last week at our Friday Howl meeting. There are the Coos on the right. They got tagged over spring break or maybe recently, Vincent and Alice, and a younger future coyote with her. I don't know little sister's name, but glad to see all of them. Can't wait to meet younger sister in kindergarten as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's move along. Oh, there's a Truong sisters, Claire and Caroline. They got tagged over spring break. Great to see them. Hopefully they're doing well in kindergarten right now. There's Tyler on the left. And there's Azam and Akmal on the right. Great to see them. They were tagged as well over spring break. And I hear a lot of those tag signs still moving around. That's great to hear. Keep them coming. And then we've got Zach on the left, Zia on the right. Look how surprised Zia is to get that tag sign in her yard. Keep them moving around. If you have a tag sign right now at home and you don't really know where to put it anymore, you can bring it right in here to school. That's okay too. We'll we'll keep good. We'll take good care of it. Send it right back in. All right, let's wrap up today's show as we always do with our joke of the day. And today comes from Jordan Kroll and Miss Rolly's fourth grade. Always love hearing from Jordan. And Jordan asks, why did the girl 
smear peanut butter all over the road. Why did the girl smear peanut butter on the road? Hmm, Jordan, why would the girl spread peanut butter? Maybe she was in a sticky situation. Why did that? To go with the traffic jam. Oh, I get it. Peanut butter, jam, good sandwiches, PB&Js. To go with the traffic jam. Very good, Jordan. Excellent job. If you have a joke of the day, and I could use some more, I'm running out again. Those are my friends, my new friends at Happy Valley and at Mount Scott. You've been sending them in recently. I need some more of them. Email it, or you can send a video of you telling it to Mr. Ong. So email your joke, a slide of your joke, or a video of you telling it to me, and we'll get it on the morning messages. That's where you send it right there. Long C at NCLAC.K12.OR.com. U.S. Can't wait to see what you come up with by Wednesday. See if you can finish that challenge and have a great day today. It is Monday, April 26th. The sun is shining right now. Hopefully you get some fresh air after you finish your school today. Do you have an older sibling in middle school or high school? They start school hybrid today as well. So go a little easy on them. They're not used to being back at school as well. Can't wait to see what you come up with for the mystery photo. How about your favorite snacks? In honor of National Pretzel Day, which is today, can't wait to see what you come up with. Send them all to me. Can't wait. Send them right here to longc at nclac.k12.or.us. You know that email address by now. And we'll see you right back here on the morning messages on Wednesday.